We got some news coming out of Marvel Comics. They're trying to beef up their digital offering as they're offering a thing called Love Unlimited. And I wanted to talk to my good friend, Doc. He is the Marvel aficionado himself about some of these proposals, the creative teams, and if he's excited for these projects. How you do it, Doc? Talking about this is marginally better than talking about how terrible the X-Men are this week. So I like this idea better. People might not know this, but Doc, in his heart, he's a romantic. So these are sure to tickle something inside of him and get him excited. The flame of love is in the air. Love Unlimited will provide romance and heartbreak, tension and drama, angst and elation. Love Unlimited has it all. This Infinity comic series dives deep into the lives and loves of some of Marvel's most swoon-worthy characters and relationships, from delightfully dreamy to spectacularly sultry. Love Unlimited has a story for everyone. Oh my goodness, this has a story for you, Doc. I think you're more of a smooth and sultry kind of guy. Um, I don't know. What do you consider, like, Jenna Jameson's films? <laughs> Not smooth and sultry. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Um, Whatever, let's get to some of these stories and let's see what Doc is excited for, what he's not excited about. First up, we have Miss Marvel and Red Dagger from Nadia Seamus, Nacha Bustos, and Alada Smith. Miss Marvel and Red Dagger have shared a kiss, but not their secret identities. When they team up to investigate a series of relic thefts, the chemistry is off the scale. Will they find the courage to take off the mask and give love a chance? I don't know. That's pretty hot and heavy, Doc, but I have a question. Who the yeah. fuck is Red Dagger? Um, your guess is as good as mine, but apparently I'm more curious on how the fuck they can kiss because her costume has the domino over her eyes. His costume has like a mask from his nose down. So how the fuck did they kiss? I Without don't know. I don't showing know. his identity. Like is Red Dagger a real character? Eyes? Did this happen in canon or are they just making it up? I haven't the slightest clue, but considering it's Nadia Shamas and Alana Smith, I'm going to go with they're making it the fuck up. I don't know. It sounds pretty hot though, Doc. Do you think you're going to... Can you... Can you take this digital comic with you on a hot date and maybe get the lady? You know what I mean? I'm going to go with a big, big, big no. Plus the fact that, you know, look, I, the, the preview art for this looks like the same artist that drew the how to escape the airplane when it crashes and not drowned manual that's in the back of every seat on an airplane. So I'm going to go with not that fucking exciting and definitely... Uh, not really about to get y'all hot and heavy. So how many dongs out of five are you giving Miss Marvel and Red Dagger as your prediction? I'm giving it I am giving it one dong. All right. So Doc is not excited for that one. We got more offerings. We've got Viv Vision, Mary Ninja Camp, Federico Sabatini, and Alana Smith, Teen Synthesoid. Viz Vision has long been unlucky in love. But when she's swept along on the world's strangest first date by a girl who makes her feel like she's malfunctioning, her fortunes may be about to change. Well, finally, we get some uh, robot girl on real girl action, it sounds like, here. Is this one that might tickle your funny pup? Maybe? Um, well, possibly. I mean, it would be the equivalent of, it's like the lesbian equivalent of that guy that married his real doll. Federico Sabatini's art. I'm not going to be terribly disappointed in this. Now, this may be another book where you just ignore what's in the word bubbles because it is Stephanie Phillips and she can't write. It's not Stephanie Phillips. Fuck. It's Marie Ninchkamp. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Stephanie Phillips did the next one. Um, I, I don't know who this Marie Nick Glamp is. I've, ne I've never heard of them. So... Hey, look, this one I, I'm marginally willing to give a, a shot to, but again, Alana Smith. I How have... many money shots out of five are you giving this one? Are you giving it five money shots out of five? Um, I'm going to go with three money shots out of five just to... Well, no, no, this would be, this would be three oil squirts out of five. Wait, whatever, man. Whatever floats your boat, Doc. We've got more offerings. We do have... The Stephanie Phillips book you were alluding to, Millie the Spy. We're finally getting Millie the model back in Marvel Comics. Nick Roach with Annalise Bisa, also on the creative team. Millie Collins' ultra glamorous jet setting lifestyle is the perfect cover for Shield's most recent recruit. 
But when she butts heads with her new partner, sparks fly in an all-new adventure featuring one of Marvel's most iconic romantic heroines. Finally, we're getting Millie the Model back. I know Eric Reed is going to be excited. He's got the Millie the Model like omnibus. I saw him reading it one day where we were getting ready to do our uh, you know retrospective. So he's probably excited about that. I don't think he's excited about Stephanie Phillips, though. But I must say, Millie the Model, I think, is the perfect character for a Stephanie Phillips in her, I don't know, her creativity, her level of story craft. This is a story no one's going to read. No one expects anything from. So she can't really let anyone down. Well, <clears throat> yes. Um, and maybe a more competent editor could pull a decent story out of Stephanie Phillips. But Annalise Beast is definitely not that person now nick roach's art eh, all right i mean this is the one that i would have been most interested in uh because millie the model does have history is kind of straddled that line a little bit between you know super heroics and you know romance comics uh but it's 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 stephanie phillips being edited by annalise pisa how many hot breaks out of five doc you given this one one well, you're not excited for that one. I'm surprised. This is the one I imagine everyone expects you to be excited for. This is the one that's right in your wheelhouse. The X Loves of Wolverine. That is very clever. It's a pun on the X Lives of Wolverine title. Kelly McKeever, Diogenes Nevis, and Mark Basso. Logan's mutant healing factor has saved his life countless times, but it has never healed his breaking heart. And as Wolverine plunges into perhaps the greatest romance of his long life, he will have to risk it all. I think the story's already been told, Doc, with a, a little old lady in Japan. Sean Kelly McKeever is not, I mean, I liked his, it, now, he's a total clown, but he's not a terrible writer. I've read a few things by him, and it's it wasn't bad. Uh, it's been a while since he's been in the Marvel offices, um, and I don't remember who Mark Basso is as an editor, so I'm going to just go with He's him. one of the X-Men uh, assistant editors. Okay, so he's terrible too, um, and but um, yeah, we've we've read this story. We've read this story countless times uh, by much more talented creators than these. So two and a half adamantium pokes to the brain. Adamantium dildos, Doc. We're not yeah. going on pokes to the brain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got a good My point. Goodness, there. Uh, you got to uh, keep within the theme. Yeah, oh, actually, I'll go with adamantium fleshlights. <laughs> that works, too. <laughs> so you're not up for uh, X loves a Wolverine? No, um, it, I've, I've read this too many times already. Maybe it's this last one that's going to give you really excited for this Love Unlimited series of uh, digital comics that no one's going to read, including Doc. I'm just I'm betting on it. Hulkling and Wiccan. Josh Trujillo, Toki Tokoro, and Alana Smith, continuing the story from the hit Infinity comic, Hulkling and Wiccan, possibilities, that feels like an overstatement, still reeling from an alternate reality where they fell in love with other people, Hulkling and Wiccan are shocked when Hulkling's alternate reality ex-boyfriend shows up on their doorstep, and unfortunately for the rattled newlyweds, go big, the space pirate needs their help badly. Yeah, first of all, this is obviously false advertising. There is no such thing as a hit Infinity comic. They don't yeah. exist. They have never existed, and they will never exist. But that being said, didn't we just have a giant fucking event about how much Hulkling and Wiccan love each other? It was called Empire. Um, that was a big portion of it, yes. Yeah, and uh, so... Yeah, going into the love triangle thing. Okay, they ended up in an alternate reality. This story can be told in like three pages if they have an actual relationship, which is, oh, who are you? Oh, you're my ex-boyfriend from an alternate reality? Um, yeah, I'm married here, so bye. The end. <laughs> now, but this one I will give credit to. It looks like there's actually a fucking superhero adventure involved in this. I mean, granted, it's a space pirate needing help, but this one actually talks about an adventure in a superhero comic. Holy shit. So you're going to give this one five meats in the Sammy? You know what I'm saying? Not five. I'm, I'm giving this three and a half man meats. Well, there you go. 
I mean, you're the most excited about Hulk Lady and Wiccan. Obviously, established, uh, you know, character relationship. It's been going on for a long time. Um, I don't know. This thing feels kind of like a joke. That's why I will, I'll treat it like a joke. Not a whole lot of stuff to get here excited about. I don't think anyone really cares about these unlimited comics. They're just, they've ne- they haven't put anything out worth reading yet. Well, and they've put a number of things out worth totally demolishing. Obviously, the big one would be X Men Grade. Do you have any final words about the Unlimited Love, Love Unlimited series, and your thoughts? Another digital first anthology that exactly nobody's going to buy. And but hey, at least this time they're not wasting trees to print their horrible attempts to get back into the romance comic market. They're just wasting electricity. If you need further proof that the Marvel Unlimited digital series just aren't that very good, I actually talked about the X-Men Green story. It's very infamous. I'm shocked that they actually ended up printing this damn thing on paper, but when it came out digitally, it was awful. Definitely check this video out. I thought people needed to maybe lose their jobs because this thing was so important.